So one of my favorite things in life, besides pizza, is shopping. <laughs> Sounds like such a first world thing, right? But really, I, I do, I love clothes, always have. I think I could be a fashion blogger in another life. So I could spend like majority of my paycheck if I was not responsible on clothes. I do, I love it. I love going shopping, I love putting things together. It's so fun for me, it's just one of those things. And I don't have a hobby. I think we've talked about this on this vlog before. Like Winston like goes camping and can like shoot guns and like does all this stuff all the time. I don't have a hobby. Like I hang out with friends and I go shopping. <laughs> but that's, if I were to have one, oh, that's a horrible hobby. Shopping is not my hobby, reading is my hobby. So when it comes to shopping, I do have two philosophies that I always think about when I'm out because either you can buy like something super cheap, I feel like, or you buy something super expensive. So here's the deal, here's what I always think about. For the expensive things in life, whether that's a nice store, nice pair of shoes, a purse, I look at those as investment pieces where I'm like, okay, these are gonna last me four, five, maybe even six years. So for investment pieces, it's something that you maybe save up for over a period of time. And then when it comes to purchasing, it's gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, well, oh God, I'm spending so much on shoes. But hey, if it's what you've been saving for and your goal, then you can do it and it's great. I always do the higher end stores like with that philosophy. So for instance, this jacket, um, I call it my investment piece. I think I paid, it's fake leather, so all you non-leather people that get mad at people that wear leather, you can get mad at me, because it's fake. It's leather, or vegan leather is what they're saying now. So this was, I wanna say like $250. Now normally, I would never spend $250 on a jacket, but it's one that I wanted, and I saved up over time, and I was like, hey, next month, I'm gonna go buy that jacket. I think it was from Nordstrom. But this, I've had this for, I think, four years now. And I don't wear it a ton, but it's like my go-to leather jacket, and I'm great with it, I was great, and I'm glad, because it lasted, and usually, when you pay for something more, Majority of the time, it's better quality, so it's gonna last you longer, which is great. Now, for the styles that are more everyday for me, or that are like, there's something like really in stock. My really expensive investment piece just fell, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, so for things that are super trendy, and it's like, okay, this possibly could go out of style in the next year or two, I don't spend a lot of money on. So I'll get things that like, and Taylor Loft and PS, don't ever buy things full price from there because there's always like a 40 or 60% off sale all the time. Like I got this shirt from Loft with like the big bell sleeves. So these are very in, but in two years, they probably won't be and I'll be okay discarding. Oh, my sweet baby's up there. Just love her. Oh my gosh. With a babysitter. Don't worry, she's out there by herself. <laughs> So anyways, back to bell sleeves. So these are going to go out of style, I'm sure, in like the next season or two, but I'm okay. I just paid like $14.99 or something because it was like super on sale. I hate paying full price. I do, I'm my mother's daughter, I hate it. Sharon Ramsey still buys everything on sale and it's just in the blood, I guess. But really, I, I don't. Now your investment pieces, there will be stores that don't have sales, right? It's that some of those stores just never have sales, so you're gonna save up and pay for those and it hurts, but you do it. But most everything I buy, and when I say most, Seriously, most everything I buy when it comes to clothes is on sale because so many of these stores have great sales going on. Make sure it says be patient, wait for the sale, especially places like Banana Republic and Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor Loft, J. Crew. they're constantly having sales. So just be patient, wait. Within a few weeks or even a few days, it'll be on sale. And so you're thinking, Rachel, I wanna go shopping. I, I need some money. Listen, sign up for my 14-day money finder. This is gonna help you get on budget, save, and you're gonna find cash because the average person finds $2,000. $2,000 a year. I was gonna say a day. I wish it was a day. It's not a day. A year. 2,000 bucks a year. So click on the link below, sign up for the 14 day money finder, and I'm gonna give you permission as you're watching this video as the personal finance expert that if you sign up for the 14 day money finder today, right now, and you find that $2,000, I'm gonna give you permission to spend it on clothes. Yes, I am. You shouldn't, you should pay off debt with it, but you can spend it on gloves. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, let's go shopping. That was cute. Sure. <laughs> hey, YouTube, thanks for watching. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. YouTubers out there. Love you guys, so make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get all these great videos right in your inbox.